How's it going everybody? This is JTech95 and I finally got a hold of that StarTech um, VGA to HDMI um, box. I'm pretty happy to have that. It's a neat little device. It's not really big. It's only about the size of my hand. It's really neat. It can capture as low as 320 by 240. I might go lower. I'm not sure. I picked this up on eBay um, not too long ago. It was only about 40, 50 bucks used, but it worked fine. Um, I had a video a couple days ago of me using that little J5 Create um, dongle style, but that could only go down to 640 by 480. So that kind of hampered um, usability. I could not use it under DOS because that runs natively in 320 by 240 but with this one I can do a lot more with it. So I figured what better way to break it in than by making a video of me installing Windows 3.1 onto my leading technologies PC partner. It originally had about a 400 megabyte Western Digital Caviar hard drive in it and that started to take a dump. So I upgraded it to a compact flash and I got the DOS files and several other things added on there but I don't have Windows on it yet so today we're going to be installing Windows 3.1 from the floppy disks as well as the Sound Blaster drivers for the Sound Blaster Pro that I have in there. So. Let's get started. It should come up here on the screen. Bada bing, bada boom. And we'll skip the BIOS test. Let it do its thing. And you can hear it back there. It's testing the floppy drives, starting MS DOS. Cool. So let's start with disk one. and get started with the installation. And any minute now. There it goes. Cool. Reading setup.inf. Yeah, I've never, um, I don't think I've ever done a video of me installing Windows 3.1. And I know I've never done a video of me installing it with installing Windows with direct capture. So, this is something new. We just figured, you know what, why not? It'll make for an interesting video at least. Kind of boring, but you know. What can you do? And given that this installs from floppies, this is going to take a little bit of time, but you know, it'll be interesting. There we go. Welcome to Setup. The setup program for Windows 3.1 prepares Windows to run on your computer. Okay. We'll do custom setup. And we'll do C colon slash Windows. That should be no problem there. And then it gives us the listing of the different options that we can set. And as far as I can see, everything looks all right. The uh, graphics card is a Cirrus Logic 5402, so I'm just going to leave it as VGA. Um, I highly doubt it'll be good with Super VGA, so like 640 by 480 with 256 colors. That and this machine has a 386SX processor in it, so that's going to be kind of slow anyway. So we're going to leave it as VGA. And we'll let it copy its files, and we will be right back. 
And we are now on disc three. Once it's done with this disc, it should be, should prompt us with the main desktop. Loading up Windows. And there we go, cool. All righty, please enter your full name in the box below. All right, let's see here. Continue. Yep. And we don't need to install printers. And we'll continue. This mouse is kind of funky. That's fine. Read me files, accessories, games, screensavers, and wallpapers. Okay. And it's going to try to create a swap file, which is perfectly fine. I just leave that alone, let Windows deal with that. <laughs> It sometimes takes a little bit of time, but you know what? It builds patience and character. There we go. And we will let it install its files. And we will be right back again. <laughs> okay, and we just hit 99%, now 100%. And... Yes, we will let it configure the config.sys and autoexec.bat files. That's fine. And there we go. Program Manager and all of its program groups are getting compiled. Awesome. Okay, and we will have us check the path. Said it needs to know the application name for edit.com. Okay, that would be ms -DOS editor and we will add all of them and there we go yeah we don't need to go through the tutorial and we will reboot the machine and try loading up windows and make sure everything works And there we go. Let it reboot the machine. And there we go. All right, let's load up Windows 3.1. Make sure everything worked. Cool. Okay, we got the splash screen. That's a good sign. Cool. Let's make sure we're running in 3 to 6 enhanced mode. Boom. Cool. Now we have to install the sound card drivers. So let's exit back out of Windows. We'll go to Drive A and we'll put in Sound Blaster Pro Disk 1. And I think it's just install. Yep. And this should install the DOS and Windows drivers, as far as I know. Last time I did it, it did, so it should do it this time. There we go, Sound Blaster Pro software installation. Alrighty. For installing the software, you should run test SBP. I know it's working because I used it before, so we will begin the installation. Directory SB Pro will be created. Yep, that's fine. Let it install its stuff. This shouldn't take too long. Should only take a few minutes at most. I was going to put a Sound Blaster 16 in here, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to be fancy. I'm going to put a Sound Blaster Pro. And I believe this is a Sound Blaster 2 Sound Blaster Pro 2.0, mm -hmm. 
I will double check on that. Yep, it's a Pro 2 CT1600. And as soon as it's done installing, I really quick got to make sure this thing is set up to audio capture as well. I think I have it set up right, but I'm going to double check. I try not to make myself look stupid on the internet, and sometimes I don't. <laughs> All right. And here in just a second, it should be prompting me for disc two. Okay. And there we go. Insert Sound Blaster disc two. Cool. This is going along pretty smooth. I'm got my fingers crossed that this is gonna go by without a hiccup. So we will let it finish up its thing and come right back. My dog wants to go outside, so I have to go take care of that. So give me just one minute. Okay, the program will now set up the sound environment string and the command to set the volume of your sound blaster. Pro card to mid range by adding the following lines to your auto exec.bat file. Okay, that's fine. Please insert the boot up drive of your system for confirmation. C. We will now add a command to the file win.ini. There we go. So that a program group for the Sound Blaster Pro will be created. Okay, so that's C colon slash windows. The settings on your Sound Blaster Pro card will now be determined. All right. This program adds the command line to set the blaster environment string in your autoexec.bat file. We will do auto scan. Okay. Let's see. I think it is five, but we're gonna auto scan just in case. Okay, it was seven. Good. That's why we auto scan, just to be safe. And sometimes it's still incorrect. Okay. Alrighty, the following files were modified and saved. You must reboot your system. Let's test the card really quick. Okay, I got the thing hooked up. Now let's make sure that this works. Let's do the four operator FM music. Play through. Ends right when I'm about to open my pop. Okay. And we'll test digitized sound. I heard it going from one speaker to the other, so that's obviously working. Awesome. Alrighty, so it sounds like that's all good. So exit out of here. Exit. And we will reboot this machine and get into Windows, make sure everything's working. Okay, system is rebooted. Let's load into Windows and make sure that the sound card driver is installed correctly and edit our program group. Hey, there we go. And it did add the program group. Awesome. Okay. Now, we simply must do something about that horrible gray background. We will change that right now, because that is boring. 
There we go. Desktop. Can't do 256 colors. Um, let's do rivets. That's a little better. We gotta change that color too. Ooh, black leather jacket. I like that one. Yeah. More debonair, you know. <laughs> that was dumb. Uh, <laughs> Okay, cool. So Windows is installed. Um, okay. So that went by without a hitch. Awesome. Now let's uh, install a couple games really quick. And it looks like the dog wanted to join in. Hey, Dallas. Good boy. So I have two games I think I can install on here. We're gonna, and there he goes. Oh well. So we've got Wolfenstein 3D, and we've got Monster Bash. Let's start with Monster Bash. I think that'll work. The um, Wolfenstein discs are original. The Monster Bash ones are not. I made those labels for the Monster Bash discs. So I think they will work. I have not tested them yet, so we're going to find out really darn quick. Mm. Okay. Excuse me. Whoops. Okay, there is an install file. I don't know why it said there wasn't. That was kind of weird. <laughs> okay. Drive C, bash, yes. And we will see if this installs. Well, both uh, Monster Bash and Wolfenstein 3D installed just fine. So, thought I saw my dog. So let's <clears throat> start with trying out Wolfenstein 3D. Okay. Cool, it detected sound blaster and mouse. Awesome. There we go. Cool. Do Operation Eisenfaust. I like this level. And this. Where'd he go? Hey! Oh, there he is. There we go. Oh, <laughs> he, he snuck out of the room! Little guy snuck out. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Needed a better whipping. So it should only be one in here. Cool. Ooh. Hey. That's an odd colored wall. That should have let me in there. Oh, jeez. There we go. Cool. It's a little choppy being that this is a 386SX, but it's not the worst. Can't completely complain. Oh. Oh, jeez. Cool. Okay. 
Let's try out Monster Bash. Press Y to be a weenie. Oh, I guess I'm a weenie. Okay. I think... Oh, has Bash 1, 2, and 3. Okay. We'll start with Bash. We'll do Bash 1. You need at least 565k of conventional memory for you to run Monster Bash. Okay. Let's, uh... Ooh, okay. So we are going to really quick make a couple of small changes here. Why did I do that? I'm dumb. I meant to say edit. There we go. Okay, let's bring that up here. Okay. Everything looks fine in here. Let's see, open configure this so way, yes. Oh. I am not. Let's see. Let's see, DOS equals I, comma, UMB. Save. Okay, let's control alt delete and see what it does. Oh. Now let's see what our memory looks like now. 580. Okay. I don't still don't think that's gonna be enough. But you know what? Because I can't remember what, how much it said it needed. Oh, never mind. It worked. Okay. There's a witch flying in front of the moon. This game is not shareware. It is not intended for distribution on any BBS or through any shareware library. Okay. Oh my. Hey. Okay, can we just appreciate the soundtrack for a minute? This is the Monster Mash! Da, 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 da. He did the mash. He did the Monster Mash. The Monster Mash. It was a graveyard smash. I better stop or I'm gonna get copyright striked. Okay. okay. Easy, medium. We'll do medium. Yeah, I have not played this game before. To exit a level, free all the dogs and cats. Okay, I do not know what my... Okay, so it's the same as... Okay. Okay, there we go. Yay, yeah, yeah, free the cat. And my camera's in the way, so I can't see what I'm doing. Do not feed the zombies. I can't see what I'm doing past my little camera. So I'm literally about to die. This is terrible. Oh. That was smooth. Ah! A hand! And he's chasing after me. <laughs> I can't get higher. Oh, shoot. Whoops. Oh, no. There's <laughs> a zombie chasing me. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, doggy. Ah. Uh, well, okay. I died. 
I'm gonna have to try this again without my camera in the way. But no, it works. Quit to DOS. Yes. Cool. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I was not using my head when I did that. Um, my camera is right here in the way, and I could not see what was coming up on the screen. Oh well. Live and learn. But yeah. I'd say it was a success. We got Windows 3.1 installed, Sound Blaster Pro drivers installed, and a couple games. So I'd say that was fun. I want to do more videos like this with this um, direct capture. This is a lot easier. <clears throat> I mean, I'm still going to do, you know, videos with the camera, you know, showing the ins and outs of machines, but this is nice. And it's nice to be able to have the screen right here. There's no flickering from the CRTs and anything like that. It's just there. I like that. I like that a lot. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments section down there about this new format that I'm trying out. Um, leave me a like if you like the video and if you like seeing retro computer videos and other kind of content like this. Why don't you hit that subscribe button? I promise you won't be disappointed. Well, at least I hope you won't be disappointed. <laughs> I try to do videos like this as often as I can. Um, sometimes scheduling conflicts cause me um, short periods of inactivity. I apologize for that, but I try to do as much as I can when possible. But anyway, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. I'll catch y'all later. Peace out.